Prague, a computer scientist and quantum enthusiast in the School of Computer Science and Applied Mathematics. My name is Conrad Haupt. I am a master's student and part-time lecturer in electrical engineering. My name is Varya Majandu. I have an MSc in physics from the Faculty of Science at the University of Fitz. I'm also the senior associate at One Quantum, which is a global community for quantum tech startups. When most people think about computers, they think about laptops, desktops, smartphones. We call these classical computers. As circuit components get smaller and smaller, quantum mechanics takes over, and we have to start to think about quantum computers. The field of quantum computing is an old but fast-growing space within engineering and the sciences. By exploiting the fundamental behavior of the very small, such as electrons and photons, we are able to harness computational power that will, in the near future, exceed that of the most powerful supercomputer in existence. The field has only recently become accessible, with new quantum computers now being hosted in the cloud. Since quantum computers operate differently, they are good at solving certain types of problems, like modeling new molecules in chemistry to make new materials, drug discovery, and the speed up of AI algorithms. I grew up curious about many things in nature, and I still am. I studied physics and computer science in high school. I wanted to join a world-class university that is highly rated in terms of research outputs. VIT has a lot of opportunities for collaboration, research, and business. I chose to study electrical engineering at VITS because I wanted to be a software developer. My passion for computers drove me along that path. At the end of my degree, I registered for a master's at VITS and subsequently fell into quantum computing when VITS became part of the IBM Quantum Network in 2019. Now I just cannot get enough of it. Studying computer science at WITS has many unique advantages. For one, WITS has access to quantum devices through the IBM Q network. Quantum computing at WITS is part of our Bachelors of Science in Electrical Engineering and Bachelors of Science in Computer Science degrees. Each program differs slightly. But to be able to study in these programs, you will need at least a level 5 in Maths, Physical Science and English, as well as a minimum of 40 APS points. Good critical thinking and problem solving skills are very important to excel in these programs. To cope with any scientific subject, you need to have lots of curiosity. You need to also love the prizes and be open-minded, patient, to try things out many times. You need to have good communication skills. Obviously, you also need to be good at maths, physics, and other sciences. The quantum space is a whole new ecosystem, so it needs everyone to drive progress. You can get involved in nanotechnology if you love the lab. One can get involved as well as a quantum engineer specializing in cryogenics, microwave engineering, Quantum computing will revolutionize how we develop medication, analyze our climate, and optimize our industries. You could be a quantum software developer, designing algorithms to find stronger materials, drug discovery in terms of healthcare, tackling logistical challenges, as well as trying to understand nature better. Being exposed and engaging in quantum computing has allowed me and many of my peers to add skills to our toolboxes that would make us prepared for futuristic occupations as well as upskill us to investigate global financial challenges, find solutions to climate change and research fascinating concepts such as teleportation. My time at VITS has been very rewarding. It was during my MSc that I had the opportunity to be invited to participate in the first ever quantum summer school that was hosted in Africa. I also had a lot of opportunities being part of, or part of the VITS community. I've been able to start my own company called Frontline Contracting, which supplies IoT sensors to the construction industry. 